Hello and welcome to Abrasive Imaging. In this video you will learn more about sand carving a photo. So at first we prepare the graphic with uh, Coral Draw 2019, the current version. So at first you have to create a new document. So choose the right size you want to print on. And it should be in CMYK. So here you have the document size you've chosen before. So in this case A4. On the left side you have a toolbar. And on the top you have the menu. So at first you say file and import the picture you want to send carve. So in this case it's a parrot. With the left mouse click you set it on the document. So you see it's a little big so we have to size it up. And for sure you can do it this way or you can directly say um, which, which, uh, which uh, width it, it should have. So uh, 100 millimeters is okay. Set it and that's a printable size. And then you have to convert this into a bitmap. So bitmap, convert into bitmap 300 dpi transparent background, that's important. And then you have to edit the bitmap. That's a button I pressed. So this will directly start Photo Paint. And with Photo Paint, you have different options to remove the background. So that was the reason why I said transparent background. So here you have the eraser tool. And uh, the eraser tool has also yeah some different shapes. And here it's a it's a mask. And this is pretty sharp etched and that's the reason why you have here um, a feather and there you can adjust the border lines to make it a little bit more softer so that you don't have such a hard border between the background and the picture. You can see it a bit better. So this is really tough, very, very strong, so very hard cut and uh, here you can soften it a little bit. So yeah, that's much more accurate because you can you can uh, take it like a, or use it like a scissor. You see, so very soft, very very nice border between the background. So here I removed everything, and now I want to um, remove the sharp edges. So I'm working again with the eraser tool, and I chose um, yeah a soft form. A circle form, not a square. And then you can set different sizes. So the size of the of the eraser tool. So if it's a little bit bigger, the border is also much softer. But the eraser tool you can also adjust. So you can also adjust the border itself. That's what I'm showing here. So now nah, that's more. <laughs> That's more cutting, the punch, punching tool. So here 100% size 300 and here we go. That's a nice shape from my point of view for sure. If you do that on your own, you can make your own decisions on that. So saving means if you started from Coral Draw and to edit the bitmap and you save it in uh, photo paint mode, the changes will directly transfer to Coral Draw, so you don't have to save it. But you can, you can save this picture also to your computer. So safety first, save it. Now I doubled the picture with Control and D. You can double it, and now I transfer it into grayscale bitmap mode grayscale. So sorry for working fast, but I don't want to lengthen up the video. Um, yeah, okay. Then we have to um, um, to transform and invert about uh, so that was a button effect transform invert. So we have to make a negative at first. And I switched it into grayscale just to to have a look if there are two light areas and two dark areas. So and now I'm not happy with the contrast itself. And there is a nice tool in Coral to Increase it on an easy way. So happy, okay. 
And now we have to work on the tone curve because now the areas, some areas are too white and some are too black. So we have to adjust the tone curve. That was also the button effects adjust tone curve. Remove not too much. So if you remove too much black or too much white, you will lose the contrast. So there should be a good mixture and there should be enough contrast. So that's it. Now we're going to transfer it into black and white. So at first we have to say bitmap, convert into bitmap. Then we say 120 dpi, for example. 120. And we have to remove the button transparent background and we stay in grayscale. So no transparent background, grayscale, 120 dpi, okay. So now we say bitmap mode black and white. Then we are choosing not half tone, we are choosing Jarvis. With Jarvis, it's a it's a pretty good uh, Jarvis is it's a good raster for for stone, and you can also say how many dots the picture should have, the maximum dots or something between. So it de really depends on you. The worst thing with Coral Draw version 19 is that you can't uh, increase the view. So here, also we have to 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 um, just to show it a little bit better. I have to say view and normal, and here you can see the dots, the raster dots. That's it. And now we just have to print it. And now I show you the printer setting. So go to your printer, open up the printer setting. So I re well, we, we, uh, I personally recommend the Epson 14000 EcoTank because it's uh, yeah, really, really uh, a good one to, to, to save some money because you can refill the ink on your own. So you can see we are working not with normal paper Please take Epson Premium Glossy and take the maximum quality. And we have to set grayscale. And now we go in the advanced options. And here we can say, okay, brightness minus 25. So as dark as possible, because we want to print a black and white graphic with a high density. That was the reason why you have to set to set it this way. So then you have to print it on inkjet paper, special inkjet paper, uh, gelatin coated, and uh, yeah, then you have a black and white artwork. Here you have the shiny side and the matte side, the dull side. The dull side shows up, and then you put the printed artwork, the printed side on the matte on the dull side of the photoresist. This is a new vacuum unit. Um, we are selling it in Europe and Razors are selling it in the States. And it's working with a vacuum frame. Really, really accurate, really precise. So I'm um, working also with the roll because sometimes there is a little humidity between the inkjet medium and the photoresist. And that's just to remove the air bubbles or possible air bubbles. Plus vacuum is the highest detail. Exposure time is just five seconds. So now we're ready, turn off the vacuum, remove the foam, and now we go for a wash. So I'm working here with pressurized water with a flat spray nozzle, 0 0.4 millimeter. So the pressure is 70 bar, so really high. It's cold water and uh, the pictures or raster or half tones with a high quality with high details um, I always wash by hand with a pressure washer because you have to work quickly so that the film is not swelling up and closing the details and you have to wash as as long as the um, film or the, the artwork turns into really um, clear so it should be clear like glass. You see, there are no, there is no residue left, no blue stuff. You only have the mask, the dots, and the transparent clear background. That's it. Now you have to put it to a dryer.
that's how it looks like uh, now it's wet it's a little milky and it has to dry completely so it's completely blue again no spots no stripes nothing that's how the mask should look like yeah and now we go we are going to apply the sandblasting mask. just just cut a piece off the mask you don't need you can put on release paper and you can use it pff, month later doesn't matter but you have to save the sticky side to increase uh, to increase the stickiness sometimes it's a little dry outside and the film is working with humidity and moisture um, you can you can breath on the on the sticky side too or or you can wet up the um, yeah the substrate you should pay attention that you don't hurt the the plastic with the, with the squeegee with the, with the applicator not too hard you can press it down yes but not too hard now you have to remove the plastic sheet as as always and now you can see we lifted up the dots a little bit from the from the granite plate it's a black granite now take a, a, a pressure roller to fix it again you see it's dark again so the color of the of the mask shows if the mask is in contact with the substrate and now this is uh, a brush roller to remove the air bubbles instead of taking a needle we're taking a brush roller to to remove the air bubbles and then we just fix it again with a pressure roller then for sure you can take your finger to be sure that everything is in contact all the little details you want to sandblast and uh, <laughs> right um, just tip it so just tipping on it and not rubbing on it yeah now we just have to to save the other stuff with a common pvc tape now we're going to sandblast so that's uh, our sandblasting unit that's a little bit bigger um, and here we we put some um, yeah some rubber inside a rubber mat to 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 if we were working with glass I don't want to 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 break it so and this is a pressure pot system a special one so the it's connected with the cabinet so the suction unit on the back the orange uh, with the filter cartridge sucks it back to the uh, to the pressure pot so it's a recycling system it's automatically closing and here the valve is also uh, automatically uh, adjusting the abrasive air mixture this is a button for cleaning the filter cartridge and here the black big hose is just for the waste so we are creating a lot of dust and all the dust and fine stuff goes into this black tube and then you can remove it easily so from the pressure tank itself um, the sandblasting hose goes here yeah here we are <laughs> the hose goes directly to the cabinet yeah and here we have the carbide tip so it's a boron carbide 3.2 millimeter i'm using aluminum oxide 150 mesh and uh, let's say 29 psi so two bar not more So and sandblasting um, is the same way like airbrushing. You have to 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 go line by line, very accurate. And that's it. It's not. It's no magic. But you have to have some skills and practice for sure. So that's it. So that's a colored, engraved granite. And here you see some other samples engraved glass for example or engraved wood ceramic marks so that's my friend Pavel and me that's stainless steel two meters high that's a sandblast and airbrushed wine bottle yeah for sure something for Christmas or for big uh, monuments or just to drink it Harley parts for sure chromed Harley parts it's also granite plate WS letter size or a bath uh, mirror another granite plate or trophies 
can also take it for yeah deep engravings for sure you can also take it for a rock very fine detail and artwork or just giveaways wine bottles yeah also the good stuff <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Many thanks for listening, and if uh, yeah, it would be good uh, to to see you again on our channel. Thank you for listening.